All right, I hope you have your devotional guide with you. Praise God. Let's read Mopa devotional guide quickly. Today is Sunday, 5th of November. Praise God. 2017. You are to reign in life. You are to reign in life. Praise God. You are born again in Christ Jesus to reign again. Say that I'm born again in Christ Jesus to reign again. I'm born again in Christ Jesus to reign again. I'm born to reign. Praise God. You are to reign in life. Praise God. From Genesis chapter 1, quickly. Genesis 1, the verse number 26 then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the bears of the air and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth praise god this is from genesis 1 the verse number 26 hallelujah as a believer, are you aware of the fact that you were given a mandate to reign in life? Praise God. Reigning in life is your assignment as a believer. Praise God. When God created the earth, he said man should have dominion over all the earth having dominion means that you are to have total control over all the happenings and the things on planet earth praise god if you have dominion then you have to reign over everything and every situation you must reign over every situation in your life Hallelujah. Don't succumb to the negative issues in your life. Don't bow to them. You are to reign over them. You are to subdue them. You are to kill them. Hallelujah. You have to kill every negative situation in your life. Can you make this declaration after me? Can you make this declaration after me? Say, I kill every negative situation in my life. In the name of Jesus, every negative situation in my life, I kill you now. In the name of Jesus, every negative situation in my life, I kill you now in the name of Jesus. I kill every negative situation in my life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Clap for the bread of God. Hallelujah. If you have dominion, then you have to reign over everything and every situation. You are to reign over the lust of the flesh. Sickness, barrenness, poverty, and everything in life. Hallelujah. The reason why most Christians are not reigning in life is that they are not living a life of righteousness. Hallelujah. The reason why many Christians are not reigning in life is that they are not living a life of righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is the ability to stand before the Father above without any sense of inferiority complex. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Righteousness is the ability to stand before God without any sense of contamination in your life. 
That is righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is the ability to stand before the forces of darkness without any condemnation or any inferiority complex in your heart. Hallelujah. The reason why many Christians are not reigning in life is that they are not living a life of righteousness. It means that they are not right in the sight of God. Hallelujah. If there is anything in your life that can stop the move of God in your direction, I declare that by reason of the blood of Jesus, it is taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus. All unrighteousness in your life are cleansed now by the blood of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can you reign over the earth when sin controls you? Sin makes it impossible for you to exercise your divine authority. That is why you have to stay away from sin. Praise God. Hallelujah. You derive your authority to reign from your heavenly father. But sin separates you from God. So it stops you from exercising that divine authority to rule. Are you reigning in life as mandated by God during creation? Or you are being controlled by your sins? Answer me now. Hallelujah. Are you reigning in life as mandated by God during creation? Or you are being controlled by your sins. As a child of God, you have to know that it is your divine mandate or assignment to reign in life. And if you are not reigning, then you need to check yourself. Hallelujah. You were born to reign and have dominion over all the earth. And that is a divine mandate from God to you. You must defeat your defeats and conquer fornication. Do not allow sin to control you because if it does, there is no way you can reign in life. Don't allow sin to rule your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From Romans chapter 6, the verse number 14, this is what the Bible says. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. Under grace, you have power over sin. Under grace, you can dominate sin. Sin shall not have dominion over you. This is from Romans 6 verse 14. Sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. This means that under grace, you can conquer every sin in your life. You can conquer every temptation in your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You have to know that it is your divine mandate to reign in life. And if you are not reigning, then you need to check yourself. You are born to reign and have dominion over all the earth. And that is a divine mandate from God to you. You must defeat your defeats and conquer fornication. Do not allow sin to control you. Because if it does, there is no way you can reign in life. Hallelujah. Sin will prevent you from exercising your God-given mandate. Until you conquer sin in your life, you cannot exercise your God-given mandate to reign. Praise God. 
You were born to reign. So don't settle for anything else. This is the word of God. Clap for the word. All right, confession for today. I was born to reign in life. Repeat after me. I was born to reign in life. I was born to reign in life. So I shall not settle for anything else. Because of sin. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. I hope you have your prophetic declarations for today with you. Quickly, let's go to Sunday. Hallelujah. 5th of November 2017. Don't forget that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Hallelujah. From Job 22:28. Christianity is all about declarations. Christianity is all about your confessions. Whatever you say, you get it. When you say it and you believe it in your heart, you possess it. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, from Romans chapter 10, the verse number 9 and the verse number 10. This is what the Bible says. If you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. That is verse 9 of Romans 10. Praise God. Verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. You can replace salvation with healing. You can replace salvation with deliverance. You can replace salvation with protection. You can replace salvation with prosperity. You can replace salvation with whatever you desire in your life. With your heart, you believe. And with your mouth, you make declarations to cause the manifestations of your miracles. Hallelujah. Okay. Can you stand up for me? Let's make this declaration quickly. According to uh, 1 John, uh, the verse, chapter 2, the verse number uh, 27, this is what the Bible says. But the anointing which you have received of him abides in you. And you need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is truth, and it's no lie, and even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. Sunday, 5th, November 2017. Declaration that I carry the anointing of God. Repeat after me. Declaration that I carry the anointing of God. Okay, make this declaration like a victor. I decree and declare. That I carry the anointing of God. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I decree and declare. That I carry the anointing of God. And I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. I have the inherent power of God. To effect positive changes in my life. I'm anointed with God's power. Glory and might. Because the Holy Spirit lives in me. Praise God. All my yokes have been broken. Because of the anointing of God upon my life. The anointing makes me invincible. And indestructible. 
by the enemy. I'm a success in life and not a failure due to the anointing. I'm empowered to do all things in Christ Jesus. I refuse to live a defeatist lifestyle. For the anointing of God empowers me to live in total victory. I refuse to live a defeatist lifestyle. For the anointing of God empowers me to live in total victory. I refuse to live a defeatist lifestyle. For the anointing of God empowers me to live in total victory. I refuse to live a life of defeats. For the anointing of God empowers me to live in total victory. In the name of Jesus. Glad for the word of God and be seated. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give me 30 minutes to share this word with you. Hallelujah. All right. From Psalm 107. Let's go there quickly. Praise God. Psalm 107. In the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the word of God. Psalm 107, the verse number 10. And we'll jump to the verse number 13 to 16. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Psalm 107, the verse number 10. Those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons. Praise God. The verse number 13. Then. They cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distresses. Hallelujah. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, in their afflictions. They cried out to the Lord. Hallelujah. And he saved them out of their distresses. May God save you out of your distresses. May my God deliver you out of whatever is distressing you. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death. May God bring you out of every darkness. May the Lord deliver you out of every darkness surrounding your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak the light of God against every darkness in your life. In the name of Jesus, let the light of God appear in your life to cause your darkness to disappear. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them 
of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death. I command every shadow of death over your body to be lifted away. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver you from every shadow of death. In the name of Jesus, may God save you from every trap of death set before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that the handwritings of death against your life are permanently terminated now. You shall not die before your time. You live to fulfill your days. The number of your days you shall fulfill. In the name of Jesus, the powers planning your death before your time are dead in your place. Your aiming is something. The evil powers, the satanic powers, the witches and the wizards in your family planning your death before your appointed time are dead in your sight. In the name of Jesus, you live to fulfill your days. No demon is permitted to shorten your lifespan on planet earth. You shall fulfill your days. You shall fulfill your days. You shall fulfill your days. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that man will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. My God. Watch the verse number 16. For he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, let me read verse 19 and 20. Psalm 107 verse 19 and 20. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble or in their afflictions and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them. And deliver them from their distractions. May God heal you of any disease. May God heal you of any sickness. May God heal you of any sickness. Afflicting any part of your body. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Alright, what is my team? For today, demolishing the chains of darkness or destroying the chains of darkness. I command your chains to be demolished. I command the chains of darkness in your life to be demolished. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can write this down. Despite the fact that you may feel like you are in a prison with no way out. You have a promise from God that he can cut through the very bars of iron. Hallelujah. That seems so strong. And powerful in your life. Praise God. Despite the fact that you may feel like you are in chains. Or you are in a prison. With no way out. Hallelujah. You have a word from God. 
You have a promise from God. Hallelujah. That he can cut through the very bars of iron. That seem so strong and powerful in your life. Let the prison chains binding any area of your life be demolished by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, let whatever is keeping your life and destiny in chains leave you now. May you be delivered out of your chains of wickedness. Let a chains of wickedness in your life be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let a chains of wickedness or the chains of darkness binding your body or any other area of your life be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of Jesus. I decree that you are delivered now out of your chains. You are delivered out of that chain keeping your life in bondage in the mighty name of jesus whatever is keeping you down in life i decree that it is permanently arrested now in the mighty name of jesus whatever is tying down your destiny i decree that it is permanently arrested by fire now in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. From Psalm 107. This is the lesson that we learn. From the word of God. Hallelujah. From Psalm 107. The verse number 13 to 16. Hallelujah. If you cry out. To the Lord in times of trouble, He will come and rescue you out of your place of distress simply because He loves you. Hallelujah! When you cry out to the Lord in your afflictions God will show up in your life to deliver you out of your place of distress hallelujah because he loves you God loves you God loves you say that God loves me God loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. Oh yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, Jesus loves me. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, me, me. I'm 
Zaglav that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Oh, Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. I'm talking about prayer here. Praise God from James chapter 5. The verse number 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any among you in trouble? Let him pray. Is any among you in change? Let him pray. This means that prayer is the solution to the afflictions in your life. Prayer is the solution to the pains in your life. Prayer is a means of defeating the circumstances around you in their trouble. They did what? They cried out. That is what we do in Mopa. All we do is to pray because we believe in the power of prayer. We believe in what prayer can do for you in their trouble. They did what? They cried out. That is prayer. They cried out to God. And what happened? God showed up. Hallelujah. And rescued them from their distresses. They prayed and were delivered from their chains. They prayed and God showed up to demolish their chains of wickedness they prayed and god manifested in their lives to destroy the change binding their lives i decree that the chains of wickedness binding your life are destroyed in the mighty name of jesus the chains binding your life are permanently destroyed. They are permanently destroyed. They are permanently destroyed. The chains binding your life are permanently destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is a chain breaker. God is what? He's a chain breaker. You can call him the chain breaker. You can call him the yoke destroyer. You can call him the yoke demolisher. Hallelujah. God will demolish the chains of wickedness in your life today. Your aiming is something. God shall demolish the chains of wickedness in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is able to open the door to any prison you find yourself in. God are mighty is able say that my god is able to deliver me out of my chains in the mighty name of jesus yes your god is able 
God is able to open the door to any prison you find yourself in. Let your prison doors open right now. Let your prison doors open now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your prison doors open. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Your God is able. Your God is what? Able. According to Ephesians 3, the verse number 20, he is more than hallelujah. Now unto him who is able to do far more exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to his power that worketh in you. Your God is more than able to meet you at the point of your needs. He's more than able to demolish the chains in your life. Hallelujah. He's more than able to break the evil chains in your life. The witchcraft chains in your life. The idol chains in your life. The generational and the ancestral chains in your life. God is more than able to demolish them all out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus let your chains be demolished let your chains be totally demolished in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let your generational chains be demolished in the mighty name of Jesus let your ancestral chains be demolished let the chains of barrenness binding your womb be demolished in the mighty name of Jesus, let the chains of singleness uh, binding your marital destiny be demolished. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the chains of wickedness binding any part of your body be demolished uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the chains of poverty in your life be demolished. Uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let the chains of lack uh, in your life be demolished. Uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the setbacks in your life uh, be destroyed uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the chain breaker shall touch your life right now to lose you out of the chains of wickedness binding your life and destiny in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command whatever is stopping you from making it in this country to be destroyed right now let the forces of darkness try to stop you from shining in this country be arrested now I came to prophesy to you that starting from today you shall begin to shine in this country you shall begin to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus you shall begin to prosper on every side starting from today in this country in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you are not in this place to be defeated by the enemy. You are here to make it. You are here to rule and reign. You are here to dominate. Because you are a king in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say that I'm in this country to rule and reign. Not to be dominated by the forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm in this country to make it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say that I prophesy over my life. That beginning from this day. 
I'm making it on every side. I'm prospering on every side. I'm breaking through on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say that beginning from this day. I shall begin to suck the milk and the army in this country. In the mighty name of Jesus. Beginning from today. The economy of this country. I command that to favor me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Favor is my portion. Beginning from this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy over my life. That the chains of limitations in my life are lifted. The chains of limitation in my life are lifted. They are lifted away. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No demon can stop me. From prospering in this place. No witch can stop me. From making it in this place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. That starting from this very day. The chains of limitation. Limiting my progress are broken forever and ever. I'm making progress on daily basis. Starting from this very day. I'm making progress. On every side. Starting from today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. That the chains of wickedness in my life. Are permanently destroyed. Starting from today. In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree and declare. That starting from today, my destiny shall be fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No devil can stop my progress in this country. No devil can stop my movement in this country. The reason for my coming to this place shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, I'm here for a reason. And it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree that the chains of witchcraft are broken in my life. The chains of witchcraft are broken in my life. In the name of Jesus, the chains of wickedness binding any area of my life are permanently broken now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm making it on every side. I'm prospering on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm progressing on every side. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say that success is mine, progress is mine, prosperity is mine. In the name of Jesus, say that I'm for progress, not for backwardness. I'm for progress, not for stagnation. I'm for prosperity, not for poverty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The chains of wickedness are broken in my life now. The chains of Satan are broken in my life now. I refuse to be bound by the chains of darkness. I refuse to be bound by the chains of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus, generational chains are broken in my life. Family chains are broken in my life. Curses are broken in my life. Spells are broken over my life. Diseases are destroyed in my life. In the name of Jesus. 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 My God. My God. My God. From the book of Isaiah chapter 10. The verse number 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. That his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulders. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. I declare your yokes destroyed. By reason of the anointing. In the name of Jesus. The yoke of solitude is destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. The yoke of singleness is destroyed. The yoke of setbacks is destroyed. The yoke of barrenness is destroyed. The yoke of death is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the Lord for his word.